Hello everyone and welcome to our new episode of The Three Whisketeers, the show that likes to share our whiskey with some attitude and have a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm Jamie, I'm your host, this is our angel-haired hipster Curtis, his son burns behind the camera, we have our angel-haired hipster Curt... Wait, uh, nope. <laughs> Eddie. <laughs> we have Eddie. This is important for our viewers to know. This is our fourth show. <laughs> He has been working since 3 o'clock in the morning. 3 o'clock with the Three Musketeers. Mm -hmm. yeah. Would you I am, I am, I am the happy... Let's, keep, it, let's keep this train of movement. We okay. have our enthusiast professional, Courtney, to my right. And uh, we're all excited to have her. Courtney, thank you. Um, God bless her heart. She's putting up with us. And she, she stayed for another show. Can yeah. you believe that? Oh, yes, I can. Because yeah. this is fun and we like to share our whiskey. Mm -hmm. Now, Courtney, you you uh, teach mm -hmm. college students Japanese. Mm -hmm. We did a series on Japanese whiskey just a, uh, a few, few episodes ago. It was fun. And uh, what other projects are you working on? Um, I am a uh, educator for Caucho and Cobble Hill. I uh, train the bartenders and servers in knowledge and liquor, but primarily tequila and mezcal, oh which my is my gosh. favorite thing. Oh, I love tequila and mezcal. Really? I do. It's my jam. And because you guys love whiskey so much, like I think that tequila and mezcal is something you could get into because that's one of the reasons why I like it so much because it has these whiskey scotch elements to it. They're, it's very complex. Mm. And and mezcal, yeah. we mezcal did, yes. We did an episode. Yeah, we did an on episode Burn. on Scorpion uh, and Echo, I think it was. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 That pretty, pretty that's channel. pretty good. I definitely want to yeah. learn more about what good tequila is, because it's, it's really hard out there. I gave an entire seminar about it for like an hour or two, so I can talk to you all day about it. Okay, I would love to take that, mm -hmm. and I'll bring you some tequila. <laughs> oh, I'm okay. Yes. And, uh, and, and on top of that, you also work at Ben's Beverage Depot. I do. Yeah. One of our favorite stores that we like to go to to purchase our whiskey here in Cedar Rapids. As you should. Mm -hmm. and, you should. <laughs> and we see you all the time and uh, I'm so glad that we brought you yes, back I'm in. I'm so happy. We kept good. you here for this one because mm -hmm. this is something kind of special for us. Well, special for me because in the old days, um, Burn, when he was just tiny, mm -hmm. okay, you know, uh, we would hop in the van and we would be doing Can shows in Nashville and south of Nashville. We'd go down to show, uh, Shelbyville and we'd stop in Wartrace, Tennessee and see Don Gallagher at the Gallagher Guitar Factory. And right nearby, of course, was one of my favorite distilleries, Dickles. Oh wow! And we get Dickles when Dickles was still made in Dickles. Oh wow! So, uh, a couple episodes ago, we did an episode on light whiskey. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right. Remember that? Yes. And Eugene told me that there was coming a barrel of Dickles. Yeah. Real Dickles. Yeah. That he 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 sourced and got for Cat's Eye to release. And bam! So we wow. have a real Dickles right here on the table, and I love Dickles. We know that. Yes, you talk about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We talk Dickles. about it. It's awesome. Yeah, we <laughs> talk about it so much you mispronounce it. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I and I, I just um, you know I consider this the true Tennessee whiskey, and the reason why is because Dickles used water from Tennessee. Oh, okay. 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 We can. Okay. I love the color, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This, so is a, this is yeah, a rich color. This is. <clears throat> Excuse me, Dickles. Uh, Tennessee Rye Whiskey, Obtainium Master Collection Series. And this is from Cat's Eye Distillery, right? And bottle 16. Bottle, bottle 16. 16. Bettendorf, Iowa. 57.8% uh, by volume. Whew. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is uh, 16 of 160. Five years in the barrel. Oh, wow. Okay. Cat's Eye yeah. seems to do pretty high proof stuff. Yeah, yeah, they do. Uh, well, everything is barrel proof. Ah. Even when even when they blend, they're they're blending straight from the barrel. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, on a more serious note, <gasps> the octane on this is like yeah, you can that's smell the first it, but there's a subtle. I would say is caramel. I get Bing cherries. Oh so, my god, yes. I'm getting that a little. Maybe. Uh, when I first smelled it, I said it kind of smelled like <laughs> wet earth. What earth? Like the well, how, would you, how would that be? Like, where did that come from? What would that be called? Would that be called petrichor? Oh, oh yeah. I got big words! Oh, 
Oh, I got the big words. <laughs> we got dictionaries behind this case. <laughs> it's definite. It. But I mean, our, our our viewers really want you to say the drink the drinking game word so that they can slam some back. This is definitely a ride. Yeah. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. <laughs> Oh my gosh. It's wonderful, isn't it? It is. Um, and whatever that cherry stuff is, it kind of overwhelms the mouth a little bit in the beginning. And then dissipates because it's kind of dry. But it's definitely very sweet. This I mean, is what I remember from the original Dickles from way back when. Way back when. When Burn was, you know, two, three years old. And we were on tour and doing all these shows. Civil War country. was still going on and stuff. Civil War was still going on, yeah. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> So you know he's not that much older than me, right? He's a lot older. You know what? You shouldn't have said that. You shouldn't have said that because I would have said you're half his age. <clears throat> okay, I'll take that. Yeah, this is a whiskey that you didn't know you wanted, but it's a whiskey that you now need. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you know what's weird? Um, and you better find it because we're talking what 160 bottles? Is that what it said? Yeah, 160. When that's gone, it's gone. It's gone forever. Mm -hmm. And that's yeah. fantastic. And you know what? You know what I like about this also. I tasted it, and now that I smell it, it it's almost like I can the earthy stuff becomes stronger. I get stronger. the wet leaves. Yeah, like, I definitely get that on that, the, the wet leaves. Yeah. yeah, yes, it's like uh, it's it's such a unique sweet s smell. It's kind of like the feeling of fall and throwing on a hoodie. Yes, yes, yes. it's so good. It's football weather. That's you guys just know it. Like, yeah. Yes. How do you guys describe things that you smell? Is exactly what I'm thinking. I just don't know how to say that. I know, and I hate them. <laughs> <laughs> this. What is it? Pinhook. 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 Pin pin is that a one? And we'll, we'll do a show on this in we'll the future. We'll do a future. But Tony, thank you very much for this recommendation. Looking forward to trying it. And I hope that you go and pick up a bottle of this because it is mm -hmm. wonderful. Okay. So my friend Wesley asked on the last video with the light whiskey, where can I get a bottle of this? And guess what, buddy? You got to hustle if you want to find something. Yeah. Because we're on the cutting edge of finding this. You're the guy. You just, you're the mm -hmm. main yep. chaser that I know. And you're yep. really good at what you yeah, do. Yeah, because that is not. You knocked it out of the park, buddy. Yeah. I had to take a day off of work to go do this, you know. <laughs> That's oh. worth it. Yeah, you had to go. That. Vans had some. Vans had, Van had some, and there was some at, uh, there was some at Family. Mm -hmm. I, I think there was three bottles, and I bought one. Mm. So, two of this series. Mm. The Light, which is up here, and this one. Wow. Yeah. Man. You know what? I would not be surprised if like 10 years from now, if somebody has both of these bottles, there would be like something like very cherished because they're not, they're not going to be around anymore. And they're very good. The light whiskey and this, just, they're wonderful. I'm looking forward to what else is coming. So what do you think about this? What do you think about this? I really like it. I'm agreeing with you. There's like an emotional response to this. It is, mm -hmm. um, it makes me, more so it makes me think of a time rather than a flavor. Yes. Um, it Mono makes me... nowhere. What's that? Mono nowhere. Mono no yes. So it's, it's, I think of like, um, I'm kind of an emotional taster. Mm -hmm. So I think when I taste this, I think of like fall and I think of leaves and I think of football starting mm -hmm. and I think of like, you know, when you walk outside, you know how when you're getting ready to go outside and you're so used to summer and you're just kind of like cringing, thinking you're going to hit like the heat and you walk outside and the air is like fresh and crisp. Mm -hmm. Like that's what that is. Yeah. And I do love fall for that reason. And it's yeah. just like you, you just, you just dread the heat. Especially in Iowa, because it's so humid. And then it's just, once fall hits, you're like, oh, it's so nice. And then the smell mm -hmm. is everywhere. Yeah, like when a, when the furnace first turns on, like, I get that. Yeah. You know that? That's yeah, what yeah, I yeah, get yeah, in yeah, this yeah, yeah. a lot. Yeah, so um, it's just, it's warm and nostalgic. And it's like the fall after, like, well, a yeah. warm summer. I bring up Mono No Aware because we were trying all those Japanese whiskeys earlier. Mm -hmm. And Mono No Aware, uh, well, Courtney might be able to explain it better than I can. It's kind of like a feeling of nostalgia, but also embracing moments in the moment. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. okay. Kind of like a Zen type deal. Kind of. Um, I think you guys are kind of, with your descriptions and everything, you're kind of like the leaves. You guys are kind of blowing me away. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where that one was going. Yeah, I didn't uh, but, but if you guys don't have anything else to, to describe that, I think uh, maybe we should hit show everybody where the subscribe button is at. That's right here, next to the petrichor. <laughs> That's our uh, cue to call. To all for one? One, one for, for all. all.